Hey, this is Brian Wall with WorshipTutorials.com. I have another lesson in our series on finger picking on guitar. In the first lesson, uh, I showed you sort of the basics of getting started with finger picking and we went through our first finger picking pattern. This is going to be another finger picking pattern. This is going to be a really short and sweet lesson for you, but it'll sort of take it up a notch from where we started. So if this is your uh, very first time and you're looking to get started with finger picking, check out that first lesson and then uh, come see this one. But the pattern that we went over in our first lesson was very simple. Thumb one, two, one, thumb one, two, and uh, again, if you're wondering what does thumb one, two, one mean, check out that first lesson. It will make perfect sense. But today we're going to go over a second pattern and we're going to bring in the fourth finger, which is this ring finger, which I will call the third, the three finger. And uh, this is going to still be a pretty beginner type of a pattern, but we're going to bring in this other finger, which makes it a little more complicated. And let's do this pattern. Thumb one two one three one two one thumb one two one three one two one Okay, so it's still the same as the first pattern. They're all eighth notes one and two and three and four and thumb one two one three one two one thumb one two one three one two one you notice the first pattern that we did one two and three four one two it's a half note pattern one two one two one two one two this is going to be a whole note pattern one two three four one And just as before, start slow and uh, work up to speed. The next thing you're wanna, going to want to do is to switch chords. And uh, for just starting out, you can switch on the whole note. So there I went from a, a G to a C, or to a D, to an E minor, to a C. Back to a D. An E minor to C. Okay, so at this point, what we're working on is really just getting our fingers used to plucking strings. If if all you've really done is strumming with a pick, uh, your fingers might feel a little clumsy at first. So going over these exercises is going to be good at sort of building that finger dexterity that you will need to go on and do more advanced stuff. Uh, it might sound, you might think this is a little boring. I wish I could do something a little more interesting, but you need to build the base really before you can kind of go on, go on to do bigger and better things. I have found that these sort of patterns are, are really nice in certain applications. You know, you can kind of make a really mellow kind of a thing out of it. So you can really use these kind of simple patterns uh, right now in your playing to sort of spice things up a little bit. Um, like I said, in certain situations where you kind of want to fade into the background, uh, they're very nice, they're very handy. So thank you so much for watching. We will have more lessons in this series coming up soon. We hope to see you then. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to leave a comment here if you're on YouTube, below on YouTube. Or head over to Worship Tutorials and uh, leave a comment there as well. I would love to hear from you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, this is Brian with WorshipTutorials.com. The music that you hear in the background right now is called Pads. And I believe Pads can help completely transform your worship sets. They can help you create awesome environments. They can really help you uh, with transitions and just help make everything smooth. So what pads are is a sound bed that helps create warmth and atmosphere. 
If you head over to worshiptutorials.com by clicking the link here in the video, you can sample the pads, you can listen to the actual sounds that you will get, you can play along to them to see how they might work in your workflow. What you get are 12 MP3 files, they're 20 minutes long each. There is one file for each of the 12 major keys. These pads are not progression specific, so that means you don't need a click track. For example, if you're playing a song in the key of G, you can just play the key of G pad underneath your song, and anything you play in that key will just fit right in, it'll be seamless, and uh, they just sound great. So head over to Worship Tutorials, check them out. I hope that these are helpful for you. Thanks.